Rogers makes the first cut, looks for a quick break. He's being marked very tightly. As we will see how Ranla get their break happy, quick movement offense going. It's all about how soon can they sit into the flow and how smoothly can they get those breaks. Sam Murphy under pressure immediately, and they are off to the races. Ty Devi thinks about the shot for about half a second, then puts it, and that's a great catch by Joel. Dream start, 1-0. Exactly, classic D-line attitude. You gotta test it out, Zanny. Big opportunity, and it is captured by Ronan Callahan. Dean McCreary with the disc. He has McNamara in the middle and hits him immediately, no hesitation. The swing going around to Jones. Jones decides he doesn't like the first cut, doesn't like the second, back to McNamara again. McCarney looked off Jones. Now they hit McCreary, and it's a beautiful pop. Is that Callahan for the double happiness? 2-0. That's a break for Randall, starting things off 2-0. And then the Italians look to hit back as quick as they can. Arturo Laffy launches one of his own, and now Jones is going to have the battle, but he's just burned and collected by Chini. Chini's such a nice big target. Actually, when that shot went up, it's not the, some people think that's a pretty bad shot, but the Kudlafo to O line doesn't actually have a lot of ups. And big shots up, that's how Moon beat them in the first game. That's kind of their weakness. So I don't hate that big floaty huck. He actually came down with it, but uh, they're going to keep doing that, and I think it might go yeah, for him later on this game. Occasion. This is a big moment. Semi final of EUCF. And that's a big throw. That's it. I'll just, that's a fantastic grab. I don't know how Spiesel came down with it, and he floats one out. Really well taken by Libya. So Kuzlafota bringing out their D line again. Mastroianni to pull. And this time the spin pull works out. Does well, it? it? Does it? It stayed in bounds. <laughs> um, not too bad. If there's the call, it might just be a zone. Matthew Feely all alone in the middle of the pitch and just lashing one deep to Ferdio Rogers. And it's perfect. That's a response. Rogers thinks about the deep himself. And Feely, there's the cheeky little breaks they love to throw. One after the other. The core connection to Doyle. Almost at DV takes Murphy on the quick little pop in front. And there goes Feely. Beautiful throw, clean catch. Looking for a continuation. This is really great defense by the German on Rodgers. But in the end, it gets to Ben, who looks for the shot and collected. They didn't make it. Oh, it's going to go back. It's going to go back. Here's a goal. De Luca gets it back to Copy. Secures. And there, Copy with a big arcing throw. Gasparini against McNamara. Balling it out, and Gasparini, what a way to take half. So that's going to be a goal. Kuzma to take half 8 7 with a soft break. It's going to be a big moment. They will be receiving when they come back at half time. And we will come back too to enjoy the second half. Ranala looking to be the first Irish Open team to make it to a European final. Cusp looking to get back and retain their championship. Rogers once again coming out on the D line. I think it's the third D line point he's played this game. Hits Jones on the under. Continuing down the pitch. It's a smooth shot all the way to the end for Devi, and that's exactly what Ranlo wanted to do. Bright gray clouds of Belgium but against no. the reigning European champions. But who, what, do these conditions suit an Irish team or an Italian team better? Let's be honest. Come on. I this, feel like this, if, is, I, this is Ireland's home. This is, they feel right at home in this kind of weather. Absolutely. I genuinely thought the rain would help. If they were in mud, that would be even better. As you can see, now McCar McCarney tries to tighten it on DeLuca. Zani. Gasparini, Gasparini. Look at how hard they have to work, and that one goes over the top, and Laffy's gonna collect it smoothly and launch one of his own, arcing to the opposite side of the pitch, and clap catch for the score. So now, McCreary, giving it to the camera. He's a superstar in the making, this young man. And that is a smooth, composed throw, Keenan. McCarney. Looks to pop it to Bogan, and that's the Limerick connection, baby! You can hear the Italians talk about what they're gonna do. Four seconds of intense defense, we get this disc back. And that's exactly what happens. Doyle was forced to rush something. Really smart play by the Italians to recognize it. And a lovely throw all the way down the pitch to Zani. Young, zippy, and with some great break throws, pops it to Laffy. And there's another flick shot, sits it out. Three Randler defenders, none of them will matter because Gasparini's in the area. What a score. Incredible grab by Gasparini. I thought one of those Randler defenders was going to get in front of him, but he just turned on the Jets, kept his composure, and took that score for La Fota. We're at 10-10 here, Lorcan, in this semifinal. Wow, this is an exciting game. Given the way he's hopping, I'm really surprised he hasn't uh, taken himself out of this point, but... Antonelli's a tough man. Laffy. 
He's an artistic one, has a lot of throws. Gasperini, you see Ranla keeping in their zone, even in front of the end zone, just trying to get some panic. That's a difficult thing to do to the European champions. Zani, back to Tonelli. Keenan is just trying to get him to look away from the end zone. Laffy is going to throw and go with Copy. Copy uses it to drag him across. I thought he had that break available, but didn't. Decided not to go for it. De Luca has Zani, hits him. This is a fairly impressive end zone zoning by Ranla. But eventually, Cusp find a way and opened up a lane to Zani which he could have taken the shot of. And playing zones that deep into the end zone gives you that opportunity. As Feely there to field the pull, gets it to Rogers. 11-11 now the score. Getting close to the end of the game, and now a mistake by Ranla. An unfortunate turn as it hits the turf. And here come the Italians, a big arcing shot to the end zone, and collected for the score, and breaking back 12-11 cusp. <laughs> Luca Tognetti with a gutsy throw there. That's Amazing D-line offense to put that up. Very, very, very good catch as well. 12-11, because we've retaken the lead. Ronald got to respond. That was just a throwing error, simple throwing error. Huge pressure immediately from the Ranla boys. Trying to give them nothing, and they just get a little bit instead. Back to Master Annie in the middle. That was not an easy grab. Underside snag. Doing what he can to get rid of Rogers, And there's a big hook downfield. Murphy is nearby, but not close enough. And there's the arcing one across. It's a nice shot. Big layout and a crucial grab and score. Fantastic stuff by Sebastian Rossi. Rossi from Rimini. I guess Kuz get their lead up, a 13-11. And all of a sudden, things starting to turn. Ronald trying to put up those victory poses, trying to stay positive. Just working out when the stall will come back in. You can see Tonelli primed and ready. Angela, Angela as well. Laffy just working tirelessly, but Rogers is doing everything he can to keep him out. That's Tonelli. Great to see him back out there, clearly not too phased by the knock he took earlier. Zani hangs one up. Down there, really well taken in by Gasparini. Panic defense covers it initially, but they get the quick pop to Laffy. 14-12 and the disadvantage of the sideline game right now. I think Pelter also playing a game right now, so there isn't a lot of Irish eyes smiling on this directly, but I'm sure there's plenty glued to their screens. Noonan spreads it wide to Rogers, catches it in stride, there's the under, there's the deep, he goes with the under to the break side, Murphy, and then floats that one out. Huge bid! Gets the touch, what a grab! DV! Deary me! The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. The first one's the hardest one. I think the second one will be a lot more of a tight universe point anything happened, but this is the one they got to bring everything onto this point. Yeah. Here we go, 14-13, Kuz trying to put it away. Ronald trying to extend it to universe. Gasparini, he has Angela going deep, he has Tonelli coming under. He decides on neither of them, and that's a testament to the Ranla defense. Zani sliding to collect it. I thought he bobbled it, almost launches it. Downfield, huge grab by Angela, and Laffy books their place in the final. Congratulations to Cusp, commiserations to Ranla. That was beautiful offense by the Italians.